So I'm using about a 24 inch cone and I am going to add all of your, your usual suspects that you would find on a cheese okay. and meat board. So this is just some salami. I've got some pepperoni, I have some prosciutto. Um, I have a bunch of different cheeses. So I take some salami and I quarter, I kind of fold it into quarters. I fold the middle down and then I like to secure this with a little bocconcini. So then I put a toothpick through it and so you've got a little salami flour with a little bit of mozzarella inside. What I like to do is I like to kind of skewer everything first. So I've got black olives, green olives. Like your um, mise en place. Exactly, so once you start exactly. decorating, you can continue exactly. decorating. Exactly. So what I like to do here is I like to start from the bottom and all I do, so I like to do it in circles. So I'm gonna start with my little salami and mozzarella base. And then as you work your way up, I like to, so you can do any pattern. I kind of did like two meats, cheeses, I threw in some olives, and then um, you skewer the little pepperoncini. Also on a holiday, if I don't have any garlic bread, I get kicked out of my family. So I like to just take a store-bought pizza dough. So then I just tie in a little knot, tuck in the ends, pop that on a sheet tray, brush it with a little bit of egg wash. They come out looking so beautiful like these. And then do you garlic then, wrap them? Yeah, so I have some melted butter down here. And a little bit of parsley, a little bit of parmesan, and a lot of parmigiano garlic. Parmigiano reggiano, come on. Parmigiano reggiano. Okay. And, and then some garlic. a lot of garlic, because they're garlic knots. And then I just toss these in, and then I'm going oh, to- Oh look, she yeah. let them go for a swim. I'm going for a swim in here. So I took on the crudite tree, and I chose to use Romanesco, which is- Romanesco is the pointy broccoli. For my tree, I break them into the florets, um, and they come off really easy. Um, and then I like to sort them by the biggest ones to the smallest ones. Stick a toothpick and then stick it on the cone. And then I like to fill in- do you in blanch these or you just go straight up? Just raw. And then I like to fill in the gaps um, so you can't see the so cone with a little bit of So you sort them so you can get smaller as the tree gets taller? Exactly. Yeah. I like to keep the top because it makes a very nice ah, natural topper clever. to your tree. Um, so then I also made one out of red bell peppers. This one's very easy. I cut them into little strips. Okay. And then I- Can we I, move this a little so they can see? Yep, and okay. then I just attach a rubber band to the cone. Oh, so clever. And then I just slip them in. Um, so you need presents to go under your tree. I made my cheese balls oh into my little gosh. presents. <laughs> so I like to use some regular cream cheese and then some softened goat cheese. And then so give it a little tang. Give it a little tang, exactly. And then I like to add a little holiday winter spice. So I threw in some Parmesan and then some chopped rosemary. Parmesan, oh my God. Here. <laughs> and can I, can I put this in oh, there? Yeah, you already have one in there. I gotcha. Gotcha covered. Goat cheese. And then some chopped rosemary. Mmm, yummy. And then about a tablespoon of red chili flake to bring some... Some heat. Some heat. And oh, and a little cinnamon. A teeny bit. Also a little bit of heat in a, a lovely way. A little yes. warming heat. And then lastly, to brighten it up, I did a little bit of lemon zest. Yeah, I love citrus in anything. It makes everything kind of come to life and pop. So we'll mix all that together. And How then to wonderful. make the cube shapes, um, after it was mixed together, I did a little dollop onto um, some plastic wrap. And then I just push it together with my hands. Until to make a cone. it forms a little to make present. A um, and I also have pomegranate seeds, very And then she coats festive. them in pomegranates and pistachios, so they're <laughs> red and green presents. And my favorite thing is my old pretzel tree. <gasps> so for my tree, it's very important for, through trial and error to put the toothpick in first and then put the pretzel on the toothpick. I got you. The other way around, you poke your finger a lot. That's <laughs> not fun. That's not fun. That's no fun. And so I took a star cutter okay. and I like cut out little stars. Of cheddar cheese? Of cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese What stars. goes better with pretzels than cheese? And so then I just fasten them with a little toothpick and then I just put them right in. Cheese and pretzels. Oh, wow. No. And so I made two little dippers for my pretzels. So I took equal parts Fabernays or mayonnaise, a little Dijon mustard, a little bit of honey in equal parts, a little bit of onion powder, gotcha. a little bit and of garlic, garlic powder, powder, gotcha, and a little bit of red pepper flakes because I like a little heat. And then to make mine a little bit different, I put a little whole grain Dijon mustard because I like the little pops. Yeah. And for my sweet dipper, I have a little cream cheese with a little bit of raspberry swirl. Yum. So I have powdered sugar and a little bit of cream cheese. I'm gonna mix that together. A little bit of vanilla, a little bit of freshness from some lemon. Everybody here loves lemon. Uh, mm -hmm. And then you take your favorite jam. For me right now, it's red raspberry because this baby loves Because that raspberry. baby wants raspberry. Usually I'm a strawberry girl, but right now, and then I just gonna- And you swirl! swirl. swirl. 